Okay, here's the video to Dremel your dog's nails. This is Casey. She's six months old. First, I'm going to trim all the paw fur down. I always wear a mask because uh, the, the dust and dirt irritate sinuses. And uh, on podiatrist um, websites, I read that it's not healthy, and I forget what they said, but um, there's consequences for breathing it in. I always lay them on their back. <clears throat> I always hold them with their with my leg so I can angle them and get the and it just steadies them. Can you stickle Casey? Hi Casey Casey. You can tell the difference. Much, much nicer. When I start, when I, my Dremel, I have a stone Dremel on it. I don't use the sandpaper because the sandpaper wears down too quick. And you get bare spots and then it, it gets harder to Dremel. So I use a stone one. I always um, take the tip of the nail off first. And I go through each nail just taking the tips off. This way, it gives this nail time to cool off by doing all these. Then I go through and I'll take the sides off on each nail. And then I'll go underneath and trim all this up. You can see this growth. And I'll show you the finished product and the, the difference it makes. And I do use a higher speed. It goes quicker and you don't need to use as much pressure because I'm a pretty vigorous dremel, dremeler. But, um... Forget my train of thought. Hmm. Higher speed, and I do use quite a bit of pressure. And if my dog flinches, I always back off. Good girl. She likes her head held. Right here. You can see the difference of this being smoother and this being white and chalky. That's the dead stuff. That's the stuff you want to get off. Okay, see. You can't get your head. Now I'm going to go along the sides. If your dog has really long tips, you can take cutters and cut it so you're not dremeling as much and creating as much heat. Now I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to go straight, lay it flat, and go straight up. You can see the difference. Now I'm going to go underneath to the side. And you can see the difference in those underneath nails to the one I did. No case. Of course, my guys aren't that bad because I do them every week. Now I'm going to go underneath and roll it up towards the front and finish this off. And you can see how it got shinier and I'm getting more taste. Good girl. Good girl.
and you can see the difference in those paws from underneath and that's a finished paw. Are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep, Casey? Hmm. Good girl.